Hi, I'm Hilda and I'm going to give you an introduction to abstract art. So what you're going to need for this workshop is an oil pastel and a few sheets of paper. So now take your oil pastel and your paper and I want you to try and make as many different marks and shapes on the paper. So we can make some line shapes, but marks, um, some spirals. You can use the tip of your oil pastel and you can use the side. So this is me using the side of my oil pastel. See what different types of marks you can make there. What happens when you press really hard? Uh, think about what happens when you press really lightly. You can make circles. You can make zigzags cross-hatching so just play around with that and see what kind of shapes what kind of marks you can make and then we'll go into the second stage Okay, so now we've got our, sh our sheet of paper with our shapes and marks on it. I want us to think about these shapes and marks and sounds. How can you represent a sound using a shape or a mark on the paper? So let's move this aside and get another sheet of paper. And now I'm going to play you a soundtrack. Try and think, try and listen to all the sounds that you can hear in this soundtrack. So you've got this repeated noise. It's almost like stepping. And you've got these drums. And the explosion, explosion of sound there. Let's see how we can draw this. I'm just drawing lines to represent this repeated noise, but you can draw it any way that you want. So I've got that shape there and those marks. It's getting louder now. And you have that explosion. So this is my drawing and you might be thinking this doesn't look like anything at the moment but that's the point of abstract art, it's not supposed to look like anything specific. So as long as you have an oil pastel and you have a sheet of paper and you can make marks on the paper, you're doing it right, okay? There's no way to do this wrong, you're always doing it right. So I had some, I heard the repeated noise and I decided to draw this repeated pattern. You can draw that pat you can draw that noise in whatever way that you want to. Um, and at points of the soundtrack it got it was quiet and it got really loud, so I decided to draw that noise in this way. And there were a few explosions of sound here and there, so I did a few explosions. But let's look back at our shapes and our marks that we made earlier and think about how we could represent sounds in different ways. So where it got really quiet, you could probably draw it small circles and get and make them really big.